Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your October, your mid-October general reading. It's a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Cancer who views the video. But if it does resonate with you, uh, I ask that you like, share, comment, subscribe. Definitely like, it helps the channel out. And it's a free, it's free. You don't have to do anything but click the like button. So, let's get started. Um, just off camera meditating for you guys um, I heard it's, it's going to be okay and you have to have courage you have to have the strength and the courage to fill it you fill in the blank I don't know um, it could be relationship it could be family it could be I mean it could be anything you know but you have to have the courage to I guess start the change whatever the change may be some of you are really bogged down in fear based um, thoughts in which is you know of course is translating to your actions you want to say you want to do something and you aren't because you're so fearful frightful almost as to what the outcome would be uh, a lot of times you have to release the outcome of any in every situation so that you can move freely uh, the you know that's releasing control the only reason why we um, we have fear is because we are so attached to the outcome think about if you went to work and, and spoke freely about how you felt about your your work situation and you weren't so attached to what was going to come after you said what you said imagine maybe the mountains that you would just move by having the courage to do or say whatever it is you need to say so a lot of times you know when we're attached to outcomes we you know it's fear and we've got to conquer that the devil did come out in the uh, shuffling of the cards so. somebody's bogged down in fear and it could be a relationship you're fearful of what the outcome may be you don't want to enact the change let's see lots of scattered thoughts uh, some of you are in relationship but you're not seeing eye to eye somebody's holding a lot of Okay, I heard cards. Whatever that may be, somebody's holding their cards close to their chest. Someone has an uh, an, an inner knowing that this isn't working out. Even though there's still the keeping up of the the front, the united front, but it's based in falsehood. Some of you um, need help with the children. The, the counterpart is not helping. Whoever that may be. Husband, baby daddy, boyfriend, whatever. It's just that that person's not, you know, living up to what they need to do. Um, work looks decent. Some of you started new positions. You're out on your own, and it's about time management and governing yourself accordingly to whatever it is you need to. Somebody's really holding like a whole bunch of information, and somebody's holding their feelings and their their thoughts to themselves and not expressing it to another party, whoever that may be. The issues surrounding the home. The home needs some work, or the home needs to be sold, or things are just too much at the home. Now that could be just having too much stuff, or or it's just too much. The the, the tension, the energy is too much. Can't say you really love someone, but you're not saying it, or vice versa. Somebody feels this way about you. Let's say. 
Okay, and we are back. So let's get into the cards. I'm going to do something a little different. So we're going to start with the Angel Answers cards. I'm going to pull three cards for you, three cards for your partner, and then we'll we'll build from there. Okay. Oh, okay. Not the right time. Helpful people. This is for your partner. Remain positive. Okay, Cancer, and this is for you. Be assertive. All right. Yeah, it's like in the shells, y'all are not saying something you want to say. Success. All right. So, you got your answer there. Some of you are fearful. Unlikely. Whatever you're thinking is going to happen bad, it's unlikely. Okay. For the both of you in the near future, bottom of the day. Really good cards, Cancer. Not the right time. Helpful people remain positive. So, your partner's dealing with some, you know, some energy, we'll say. Let's see what it's all about. Hang on, I'm gonna turn the light on. Okay, be assertive. Success unlikely. Right, let's see what this is all about. We'll start with cancer. Okay, be assertive. What does cancer, the cancer collective, need to be assertive about? Lord God, thank you for the messages. From spirit, heavenly messages, messages of love, light truth and clarity. Yes, mm, about ending something or shifting, transforming the energy. Ending or or transforming. So you choose. That's the death card. You need to be assertive about what you what you want to happen in a situation. And some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. If not, you know, you just need to be assertive about an ending, about how you feel, about how things need to transform. Success. What is success for cancer? Okay. Six of Earth. You'll find balance. There's also going to be some money that comes to you that balances things out if you're finding that some of, that you took a pay cut or the money is coming slow it, it's going to all come together for you six of earth you may be getting a large payout also something surrounding equilibrium balance something balances here and it's successful unlikely Ooh, that's three cards I'm not going to take all three of those what is unlikely for King? nine of fire Immediately what I heard was this unlikely that it's going to be like it was the last time. Whatever that may mean for you. Because right now you've withdrawn from a situation maybe with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Um, you've also going to find somebody that balances you out. Success, their success and money and love in, in some situation. We'll clarify more nine of fire it's not going to be like it's going to be last time you've withdrawn from a situation and you're you're looking at it you're viewing it from a new set of eyes mm. 
not the right time for your partner. Let's see. Ace of Fire. To start anything creatively, passionately. It's not the right time for you guys to come together uh, passionately, sexually. This is a time of really figuring out what it is you want between each other. Can you offer that to each other? Helpful people. Helpful people. Sun. The Sun card. Nice. Um, could be a Leo involved or they could be a Leo. Have Leo in their chart. Um, this says it's if your partner does ask for help, it's going to be successful. It's going to be, they're going to get what they're looking for. It's going to be positive um, uh, results. If, if they need help, also be one of those helpful people, Cancer. Uh, remain positive for your partner. Remain positive. Remain positive. messenger of air um your partner may be changing shifting home they may be in some type of transformation that is happening quickly for them so they have to remain positive you could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius aries sagittarius leo Let's see. What's the energy between you two in the near future? In the near future, what is between Cancer and their partner? Five of Water. Somebody's going to be in grief about a situation. Someone can't allow something to just die and if they can't then you guys don't need to be together let's see this could be cancer this could be another person to a fire yeah like i said you either get over the five of water whatever happened in the past happened but understand that there's still connection between the two of you and you move forward you choose to move forward or you choose to let it go could be dealing with a fire sign yeah three of water at the bottom of the deck so someone wants reconciliation while at the same time contemplating walking away because they just can't get over whatever happened in the past if this is you cancer might need to get over it okay so let's do two butterfly oracle cards and then we'll clarify more and see what the outcome is over at my website the extended read is only one dollar fifty cent i know right um in this day and time where extended reads are astronomically priced um i still want you guys to get the message so a dollar fifty cent fifty cent is basically the merchant fee um oh, okay okay all right so three more decisions Finances, courage. Wasn't, weren't we talking about that with the shells? Decisions, finances, spiritual growth, heavenly signs. Some of you know, you have an inner knowing of something here. Some of you are experiencing spiritual growth and heavenly signs because you are empathic and intuitive. Listen to those. Have the courage to decide make a decision that is to cut away from have the courage to do that uh, finances it looks like it's going to be successful for you with the six of earth and success there all right so going over the link is below click a dollar fifty cent let's see what the outcome is between you and this partner it looks like you you two are at some really um, opposing energy like there's so much good happening for you there's some change and some shifting of energy happening with the partner all right remember to stay in prayer i'm praying for you pray for me as well everything you need to know is below take care guys